The Urban Agriculture Program is brand new. We have a 17-unit certificate program where students come and they take different courses on urban, urban agroecology, social issues, and hands-on skills. And they're able to get a certificate, which they're able to take into the job market. Our bed is the finest. We have a group of students who have come to us through the Peralta Achievement Collaborative. And the Peralta Achievement Collaborative is based here at Merritt, and it um, brings in students who are unemployed, often have been in jail, students who are looking for some sort of employment path and who also um, have been educationally disadvantaged. So they're coming back to school for the first time in many, many years. Um, and this is one of the many programs that's offered for some sort of job development skills. And so through this urban agriculture program, they're developing various green job skills that they'll take out into the job market once they graduate after a year being in the program. And the ancient way of eating corn was not as a sweet product, right? It was more like a starch. And it was a miracle plant because these grasses will mm. start out tiny and get massive and produce huge amounts of, like, each yeah. a corn cob has, like, each cups stump. and cups of corn. And then the other thing is, well, it is a big, big, big crop. And the way it's grown has a lot of issues, right? The monoculture, mm -hmm. the um, corn is a heavy feeder in horticulture. So that means that this little grass, since it's so good at producing these massive... Mm -hmm. Years. So, so what does it mean? It takes more water? It takes a lot of water. It takes a, a lot, lot of nutrients. Sun. You guys remember we're doing compost and composting stuff? Corn would gobble up all that compost. And then and then, wow. and then, then you're losing it. You oh, know, that's why they said it was messing up the fields then. Yeah, yeah oh, the, corn, okay. the corn fields of the yeah. Midwest are pretty, yeah. um, they're losing a lot of soil every year. They've used a lot of fertilizers that, that washes into the rivers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just kind of out of balance. So we're going to do a Looking mix. Good, this is man. one of the oldest ways of mixing crops. It's called, um, it's the corn, beans, and squash. Or it's also called Three Sisters. It's an right. ancient mm. Aztec way of doing it. You have the corn is the first, the center, and it grows a big stalk, you know, five, six, sometimes eight, ten feet. It grows. Up that, you have a bean. So here's some beans we guys want to see. This is a, an ancient variety of beans. Mm. Y'all grew them here? Wow. Yeah, we grew these here. What's the third one? So the third one is the squash grows this giant rambling. Wow, look at the difference. Covers the ground. I don't know if there's a, um, here's a little picture of the vines. So the vines come out everywhere. So squash you grow on a hill and then it covers out the whole area and spreads like 10 feet. So we're going to do the oh, squash so next to the corn and beans and then it's going to cover yeah, that whole deep. hill. Okay. So you guys, you know, you're working on that bed over there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They do corn and beans in that bed. Oh, that's ready. And then next to it, there's these little holes. Okay. And then each of those will be a squash hill. Yeah, we got enough, I think. Cause back you'll that up, way, you got the uh, potential. I like to learn about growing food, uh, the habitat, and it can lead into a job. And I'm finding out there are a lot of opportunities for this. And for employment, um, I do have a lot of hopes. Work made for the parks and recreation, uh, beautifying the area, you know, it's one hope. And also a possibility of starting your own business is by beautifying areas, hospitals, um, just pe places in the neighborhood. You know, it's a lot of places in the city of Oakland that could use some uh, Beautification. <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm planting beans in between the corn so the beans can like wrap around the corn and give the corn the nitrogen that it needs with the compost to keep it growing. A good reason why I got into class because of the deterioration of the earth and how people are making wasteland everywhere. It's time to make a change and take what we got, what God gave us, and turn it back into what He had it in the, in the beginning. It's a lot of beauty in this place, and I think the program is, is marvelous. But the cool thing about this one, it's an old-time type of sweet corn, so you could save the seeds on it over mm. and over again. Wow. Wow, that's they, deep. They start that's, out of that's the green juice. Right. See how you right. live and you learn? Yeah. Look at the seeds. How it long just looks take, straight huh? up like popcorn. Oh, you know? shit. Yeah. Okay. How long that takes? Uh, let's see, what does it say? 85 days dry. Give it so here. That's not bad. Right. And and do it need a lot of sun? or All corn needs a lot yeah, of sun. Yeah, like sun. I'm going to tell you that we water. Well, when, okay, so whenever you do corn, you need to do a block of at least, like, 
four by like six plants or something at least because it pollinates in the wind right. so you can't just do one or two corn plants you need to do like a nice block of them you know my uncle's always been a green thumb and I used to just go over there and work and labor all oh, this just a job all I was waiting for was some money but as I got into it and got to know it better which thanks to merit made me know some of the things that I didn't know about what I was doing. Now I enjoy it more, it brings me peace of mind, it brings me comfort. When I'm stressed, I can get on my knees and I can plant a daffodil or I can plant some collards. It's, it, 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 it's, it's sort of like a sacrifice in it to, to, to the Lord, and it's sort of like a prayer because you're on your knees, but you're doing so, you're putting something back in the earth that you're taking out. And that's the beauty of what I'm doing right now.